Subscribe to TechMT by clicking the subscribe button and tap on the bell icon to get all my latest awesome tech video updates. Hello YouTube, this is Praveen for TechMT and in this video I'll be telling you how the Facebook data got leaked by a person called Kogan and a company called Cambridge Analytica. And please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you find this video useful. So without any further ado, let's get started. Here we're going to see how a single person mined the Facebook data and how the data been used in several campaigns. All it started in 2014 by a person called Alexander Kogan, who is an academic psychologist and data scientist based at the University of Cambridge. He launched a Facebook app called This Is My Digital Life, which is a personality quiz application. As the sources stated that he paid around three to five dollars to each person who downloads and installs the application on their Facebook profile. To take the quiz. Almost 2.7 million people downloaded this app and gave permission to the application from their personal Facebook profile to access the sensitive information like your biodata, status messages, pages that you like, interests, app data, some private chats, check ins, emails, followers, groups you follow, location, political views, religious views, etc. But it doesn't end here. He used these 2.7 million profiles as a loophole to gain access to their friends' profiles too. That's huge, right? Let's say I have around 1,000 friends and I installed the application called This Is My Digital Life and gave access to read my profile. He then scraps the data of my friends through my profile by the API of Facebook. Actually, he didn't violate the Facebook policies, he just took advantage of the loophole that Facebook has with their API key. He then sold the scraped data to a Cambridge Analytica, which is a British political consulting firm which combines data mining, data brokerage and data analysis with strategic communication for the electoral process. What they did is, they took all the data and developed an artificial intelligence algorithm to analyze the person based on the interests, political views religious views, what not, with everything that they have. So you may have this question like, how do they do that? Let me tell you with an example. Let's say you are very much interested in cats. You like every cat kitten related pages and you regularly post your pet pictures on Facebook and you talk a lot about cats. With Cambridge Analytica AI algorithm, it combines all the data together and concludes that you are the cat interested person. Like the same. If the profile has an interest on dogs and he does also talk about cats in their status messages, so then the AI combines the data together and concludes that this person is interested in both cats and dogs. And finally, let's assume that around 10 million people were interested in cats, then they will launch a campaign with the data they got with AI and if it is a political campaign, they'll shoot an advertisement like, if I get into power, I'll do a cat rescue campaign, something like that. As it is precisely targeted, more people will surely influence with the advertisement they see. Result? They win. According to the sources, about 50 million users' data was mined already by that time and with the recent Mark Zuckerberg interview with CNN, he said that they are still investigating the issue. The fact is, by the time you come online, the information you share is one way. If you update the profile picture and later decided to take it down, Already many of your friends see that. You have nothing to do. They know you already with the previous profile picture. All you can do is to stay private and understand the necessary privacy things before accessing the certain websites or applications. And to my surprise, Facebook stored all my phone book contacts right from the day I created my profile. Of course, not only mine, but yours too. I'll tell you about it in my next video. So, what do you do now? Do you delete your Facebook profile? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's it for this quick video. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please hit the like button and consider sharing this video with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like these. Your contribution is more to us. This is Praveen signing off. Hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.